hello dear students today we will learn about cyber safety cyber safety that is uh, this is the part 4 as you know that now a day the whole world has become so much short and the things have come on your fingertips means internet has made our life very easy but in this scenario some problems and some disadvantages are also there on the part of us of internet so this is the term that is called cyber safety tells us how to protect ourselves and how to protect our data or information because now it is data and information is more important than any other thing so in this video we are going to learn we are going to know about the confidentiality of information so let's start first of all we will know we would know about confidentiality of information what is it confidentiality of information ensures that only authorized users get access to sensitive and protected data whatever the information or data in your Uh, laptop or palm top or you know any electronic gadget which uh, you can operate like computer in that gadget if the information the very confidential information is kept and stored you want to access or you want to give access to other users who are you know trusted and who are the people to whom you have given access only those people can access your data that is called confidentiality of information there are various practices to ensure confidentiality there are so many practices the first one is use firewall wherever possible we have to use firewall we have to implement and enable firewall wherever possible so that no unauthorized user can access our system and confidential information firewall is a program that monitors all communications and traps all illicit packets it can be installed on your pc and in some computers it is pre installed i think and i hope you have seen you might have seen on your computer control browser settings to block tracking you have to do this also so that no unauthorized user can access your important data and confidential information as you know that a site can track you while surfing so to prevent that you must change your browser's default setting to exclude cookies especially third party cookies since they can be used to build a detailed profile of your surfing patterns in the previous video i have told you about each and everything related to browser setting so that the unauthorized person cannot take out the things and especially the third party cookies should be you know default setting to exclude uh, cookies especially the third party cookies since they can be used to build up a detailed profile of your surfing pattern and they can guess yes so the next thing is there you can see over here this uh, is a pattern you can this is a pick of google you know home page next what is actually is there i am going to tell you be careful while posting on internet be sure to never post some crucial information on public internet sites or social media sites as that data can be saved or hide duplicated fabricated and distributed by others the next thing is there that is important ensure safe sites while entering crucial information now the question is this how we would know that this is a site this is this site is safe and this site is unsafe so just see while entering any crucial information about yourself on any site for some work must ensure that the site is secure this can be ensured by a padlock sign and the presence of http in the address address means url 
uniform resource locator this is called web address any website address this is called website address http means hypertext transfer protocol if it is not given you can see if it is not given it means the site is not secure the site is not trustworthy you have to look at it and next thing is browse privately as much as it is poss possible browse privately privately means it is not the meaning of that you have to uh, you know you have to sit on a secret place no to avoid the tracking by website you should try to browse privately wherever possible okay privately means individually avoid using mobile uh, public computers that cafes and public internet avoid you should avoid that always try to browse privately don't save your login information and never save passwords while working on a public computer also avoid entering sensitive information onto a public computer and disable the feature that saves passwords properly log out before you leave the computer and erase your history and traces of your work all these things which are most important to avoid yourself from the unauthorized people and to get your own data and confidential information accessed by authorized persons. Thank you and have a nice day.